Hi everyone, it's Justine here from House of Mahalo. Good to see you. Um, so I believe this is part three of making the Edith Holden altered file folder. Um, so today is all about a few sort of more finishing type touches um, before we can get on to, you know, fully embellishing it. Um, so I think the first thing that I want to do is um, I want to put some lace on the inside just here um, because I don't know if you'll be able to see but where I've got envelopes um, you know in inside the uh, piece they're kind of sticking out a little bit and while that's totally fine I personally am not such a huge fan of the look for Edith Holden um, you know I don't want it to be grungy or anything so I'm thinking if I were to put some uh, crochet just a thin one just on the inside, just like that, just so it's peeking out, then I think that would help just disguise things a little bit more. So that's what we're going to do, first of all. So yeah, these are sort of more finishing touches type pieces because we are getting to the end of, of this project. Um, so I think this will probably be the last video that I do on this before the flip through. Um, there's just like a few a few other bits that I need to get done but um, a lot of stuff I'll do off camera and um, just stenciling and whatnot but um, we'll go with this first of all so I think the easiest thing will be for me to run a bead of glue hopefully you can see what I'm doing there along the edge Okay, just that I can then slip the crochet in. So I want it slightly peeking over the edge. Like so. I wouldn't ordinarily do this on a, a folio or whatnot, but it's just because the look that I've gone for these folders is quite pretty. I just feel like with Edith Holden it didn't really work having it be, you know, being able to see like inking and flips and flaps and folds on the outside, you see. So I just want to check that was straight. Just want it peeking out just a tad more. As I say, just enough just to, you know, give it a pretty edge, I guess. Okay, I think I'm happy with that. So now comes the fun job of just having to cut as straight as I can. Might need to go in with a little bit of extra glue in, but... Okay, I think that should be fine. As I say, it's literally just to, to give it a pretty pretty border. So I just want to see if I can just get in there with a bit of extra glue. So yeah I'm definitely glad that I didn't rush to you know close up the folder or anything because this allows me then the chance just to get in here and make sure this is stuck down well or well enough like so. Okay, that's one side. And then I want to do the same on the front. As I say, I don't want it peeking out a huge amount, just enough just to hide any unsightly edges whilst trying very hard for it not to get in the way of my closure that we're going to put on uh, today as well. But yeah, I just think this will just help just a bit. So let's do the same thing here. It's one of these things of you get to this point of the process and yeah, there's not a huge amount to see at the moment, but um, I'm hoping this is giving you some some ideas because that's the trouble with them um, flips and flaps. If you do put them inside the cover, you do see that little bit of a border um, for like a grungy botanical 
type folio or something woodlandy or something just purely vintage and grungy, I wouldn't it wouldn't bother me. But for Edith Holden, I just prefer the look of it having that uh, just that slightly nice border. Again, just oops, open that up a bit. Okay. <laughs> Right, let's uh, try and cut this down. Yeah, it was just I was looking at it yesterday. I'd finished filming the video and I just thought, mm, I could really do with having something. And then, yeah, I just popped the, the crochet in just to see what it look, would look like. And I think it did suit suit it quite well. So I thought, you know what, that will that will do. That will do fine. Um, so we'll get the closure done today as well. Um, and uh, we'll put some lace along the spine. We should be able to get it closed up nicely as well. And um, yeah, a few other bits and bobs, maybe fill some pockets and things. So there we are, what do you think? Nice little lacy border. As I say, it just helps, yeah, just disguise everything a little bit more. So that's perfect. All right. So we also want to have a think about the closure. So I've got this beautiful cream ribbon, which I want for it. Um, and I want to attach the ribbon underneath the lace that we're going to have along the spine. Um, and I want enough ribbon that I can wrap it around the journal a couple of times and tie a bow. So I just want to see, I think I've cut off enough. Oh yeah, that's plenty. Yeah, okay, perfect. So let's um, see about gluing this. So let's aim for the middle. So I'm going to run a bead of glue along the spine first of all, just here, just to catch the ribbon. I put quite a bit of glue on because where this is going to be covered with some lace, it doesn't matter if the glue seeps out a little bit through the ribbon because you won't you won't see it. I'm just going to press that down nicely. Okay, and then I'm going to put a little bit of glue uh, just along this corner. Again, this will be covered with lace. So I'm thinking that will just help keep the, the ribbon nicely in place, I think. And we'll do the same on the back. I'm still waiting on those die cuts for the CD wallet, unfortunately. Um, still waiting on that. Um, so I might have to, you do that off, off, off video, off camera, and um, just pop, you'll, you'll be able to see it obviously in the flip through, which really ideally I think should be the next part, depending on how much we get done today. All right, so I think that's good. So I've got some of my favourite lace. Um, this was actually white lace that I've tea dyed. Um, and I only tea dyed it like very briefly, essentially just dunked it in some tea. Um, so although it's still light, it does have a more creamy tone now, which I think suits the folio much, much better than before. So I need to decide how much I want to come over. I don't want to lose too much of the picture, but I probably do want to cover up that writing just here because um, obviously I've had to cut through it. So I think we're looking about there. So I think the easiest thing will be to open it all up. Oops, just make sure that's all down. Nice. Okay. 
and then we can lay the lace over the top. Just want to decide which way around to have it. I think I'd prefer it like that. So let's um let's go along here first. So the spine. I'm putting plenty on. But I'm also putting a thin coat on so that it doesn't show up too much through the through the lengths. Just using the, the beacon. It's like Fabri-Tac. I can always put more glue on if needs be. Okay, and then I'll just do some dabs here. It's been really strange weather lately. Um, we had a heat wave only last week, and now the weather's gone more like a autumn wintery. You know, I was wearing a jumper earlier. It's um, <laughs> that's the UK for you strange weather and you never know quite what it's going to do next okay just putting some more glue just wish the fabric didn't have like um a shiny residue on it because i would put so much more glue on if i could okay and then i think we can get in with a little bit more glue for the ribbon just where I've come over a little bit further with the lace than I first thought I would do as I say I just wanted to cover up where I've had to cut through the writing and then just catch the back and give it a trim and then that will be that done I got the idea for this closure from Tanya's videos. Um, I think I mentioned in part one or or whatnot. I was inspired by her for the the file folder to do to give it a go. I have done it in my own way. Um, I'm not very good at following instructions first of all, but I do like to change things up based on you know what I'm doing. Um, but in order, in actual like to make the folio to make the file folder. I was inspired by her. She does lots of file folders. This is my, obviously my, <laughs> my first attempt at it. Oops. Okay, just want to check how we're looking. Oh, it looks so pretty. All right, now comes the fun part. We need to cut the lace in a straight line. <laughs> straight line-ish. So, sorry if I'm all elbows at the moment. Just keeping an eye on that line. It's a nice bit of cluster lace, that. Nice little scrappy piece. Yes, this is the first time I've tea dyed lace. Um, I didn't want to buy cream lace, um, and I like this lace for spines and whatnot. And uh, so, yeah, I wanted to use that. Okay, so then we're going to tie this up like so. I don't know if that wants to be in. Oh yeah, just need to pull a bit tighter. There we go. What have I done? <laughs> Which one am I pulling? I'm pulling the longest one. I'm pulling that one round. And then this one can tie up like so. Yes. And then we can have a bow. Like that on the front type thing. Yeah, I think that looks pretty. Alright, so that's that part done. I won't cut it yet because we still need to add the journal, which we'll we'll do today as well. So that yeah, that's nicely trapped under the lace. I might go with a little bit more glue just there. Um, because I don't really like the idea of being able to peel that back quite so much. Just trap that a bit more. Okay, so that's that piece done. Perfect. All right. 
Okay, so the next job that I want to do is I want to have some crochet down the middle. This is where the journal is going to go on some elastics. So I've just slightly stenciled uh, along there so that it wasn't such a stark background behind. And I just feel like the crochet, yeah, just um, makes it more, look more decorative than just leaving it. I've also stenciled in here um, because we're going to get ready now to close up the, uh, the, the inside. So what I'm going to do is go over the crochet with my glue and I'm going to come in and do a nice chunky strip on the inside of the crochet. Now I know that that makes the pocket smaller but I just feel like it will um, just give it that extra extra sturdiness really. Okay, and we need to do the same here. So again, crocheted edge and just a nice thick, thick amount. But not so much that it's going to gloop out everywhere. Obviously I don't want all of that. So let's be careful of the closure. And let's just get that glued down. Okay. Just checking. I can't see any glue seeping out. That seems to have stuck down. Obviously, also want to check that I'm not gluing any of my flaps shut as well. Okay, that side seems fine. And here. Now I do need to come in with some extra glue just on the top here, uh, just inside with my small nozzle, just where I didn't go right to the edge yesterday. Okay, that should be nicely on. It looks to be glued, so I think we're good. Um, and the I'm not gluing the middle because that's already going to be you know I mean it's going to have the eyelets for one top and bottom um, and I didn't want to make the pocket super super small so I think we're good I'm just again making sure <laughs> nothing's being glued that shouldn't be looks all fine perfect okay so that's that so let's um get the crochet done down the middle had to cut my crochet slightly because I didn't have anything that was um, you know it was <laughs> it was either too too wide or too narrow because um, I don't want it getting in the way of my um, the actual spine like the creasing so I'm keeping an eye on that as well so yeah I just um I grabbed the closest I could get crochet wise and I just uh, I just chopped off very neatly along the edge which I think works fine it's not ideal but you're barely gonna see this anyway really because it's got the um, it's gonna have elastics and the journal in so you're not really gonna see it okay Check my pockets again. Yep. Yep. All right. Just check. Yep. Doesn't appear to be getting in the way of where the uh, where the spine is. So I think that is a good size. So happy with that. So what is next left to do then? Um, we need to get the journal in. Um, so I'll just show you, um, this is the journal, um, I basically took a, a large sheet of paper, um, covered it with the Edith Holden images, made sure that the inside was uh, plain, it's just tea dyed papers, 10 sheets so that gives you 40 sides, 
and then I just added a little label at the front and some crochet and then that's the back crochet goes all the way over I think I also used some washi um, underneath um, just to give the give it a little bit more stability and it's just a, a three hole pamphlet stitch I'm sorry I didn't do it on video I just thought it's only a little notebook so I didn't want the series to run on for too long to be honest so I just got that done last night. Oh, and I stitched around the edge as well, um, just to keep the paper definitely down, you know. So um, we want to get some eyelets. Now I think I'm probably going to use gold and I might pause here because my crocodile has been really, really playing up on me recently. So I'm just gonna get the eyelets in um, and then I will I will come back and we'll sort the elastic. Okay, so I've got the eyelets in. Just some some gold eyelets because I've used gold brads really. So can you see? Can you see those just along the spine? Um, and then we're going to use that to thread some elastic through. So I've just got some. I think this is one and a half mil elastic cord. Um, and it's in a, like a beigey kind of colour, so it's not perfect for Edith Holden, but it will do um, in terms of colour. Cream might have been nicer, but this is what I've got. So I'm threading it in from the front. Okay, so you've got the two the two pieces of elastic here in the middle where we can tie them, um, and I did the elastic roughly about two two heights of the file folder um, so that the yeah so that we could fit uh, have them tie up in the middle just here okay so we're going to just tie that on it just means that the the, the journal then the notebook is is removable which is a, a nice thing I think you know, it can be replaced, can be removed if it gets too bulky, etc, etc. Just making sure I'm not twisting that up too much. It's in trouble with elastics. It's, you need like three hands in order to tie it tightly enough that your journal is secure. Okay, let's, um, let's try that. Just cut them, cut them off in a moment. So we nice and probably could do with being a little bit tighter, but I'll funny about with that <laughs> afterwards. I think sort of, it's not too bad. Uh, and then I'll probably, I'll probably just cut off the excess, but I will, um, I'll tie it on a little bit better, I think. But it's in there, and that then can just be slipped out from behind. While still being, it's still, you know, I still sewn the journal together, bound it with the, the pamphlet stitch. Because, you know, otherwise I find that the pages can, you know, it can flop around a bit too much. At least this way, it's not flopping quite so much. So that will just be along there like that. You see? Which is absolutely fine. And, um... Yeah, that's that's the lot there. So we are essentially built as a file folder, which I don't think has been too bad time-wise. It has come together okay. So um, I've got a few things to fill up the pockets with. Um, I've not got anything completely finished yet, um, but I'm just going to show you what I'm planning on having. So um, I still need to find a card for in the window. Um, so I'll do that later. I need to make some tags for in there. Um, I have got some book pages to cut out, but I'll just show you. I've got this little image from, I think this is from the Edwardian Lady books. It's just a small image of the Lords and Ladies uh, drawing that she did. And then I've got a couple of tag shapes that somebody kindly sent me, which need ba need to be backed in order to be written on, but I thought potentially we could have those in the front sorry about that it's a busy day for the Jenkins household in terms of packages this week uh, so that was just the postman again so yeah as I say those will be in there potentially um, and then I need to find a tall enough tag 
for the back but that's thin enough that it's not going to get caught on anything um, in the actual uh, pocket so we'll have that journal flips over I love that um, that tag just this card just needs um, sewing around and a tab added to it so I'll sort that later as well um, I've already got a little card in the envelope just a plain card which I might do some stenciling on um, might add a stamp to it as well but just a little bit in there um, and then I want sort of a I want something this sort of size two of these really but that'll thinner so I'll probably end up cutting some stuff from the books um, just some thin thin tags I want a card for it in here which I think I'm actually going to take from the Gordon Benningfield books um, because there's some there's some pictures in there that look like they'll go perfectly with Edith Holden um, you should see the flip throughs of those books um, over the weekend. Anyway, um, and then I've got this. I managed to get some note paper, which is Edith Holden note paper. Isn't that beautiful? It's on like parchment. Um, I got a little a little set of them from a seller on Etsy. I think the shop might have been Heirloom Crafts. Um, and then I've got this tag which is just backed on manila card but it needs um it needs more doing to it like a an eyelet and whatnot but these are just little jobs that I need to do um I don't think they're they're worthy of a video to be honest so that'll be in there we've already got a tag in here um it just wants a a tab adding to it so it's easier to get in and out I may change up what I've got in the front at the moment I've got these uh these tickets but I don't know if they necessarily go with Edith Holden at the moment I like them <laughs> but I may I might change my mind later and then we've got our fussy cut pocket which um, I've got this tag it needs backing but I don't want to back it on anything thick because at the moment it fits hopefully just just nicely so you can see this the specimen and it's almost like this plant is part of the honeysuckle and I think that is just enough just on there and it feels yeah it feels fine so I'll probably just back it with some paper rather than card um, and then um, we've got the the back pocket which I've got them here somewhere I've got those two for this one they need to be backed and sewn around and corners rounded didn't want to do any of that until I'd so uh, glued everything together because as you can see my pocket is smaller with that extra glue in so yeah I'm gonna have to take some off the edge and um, that's gonna be the cards for in the back uh, back two pockets so I think I'm gonna have to call it a video um, we didn't get a huge amount done today, but we did get the closure on, we fancied up the lace and we got the journal in. Um, so the next time you see both of the file folders I've been working on will be the flip through. Um, I've got the other one, I'll just give you a, a sneak peek. Um, I just need to get this one to the same the same standard um, as this one, but it's uh, it's almost there. Really, basically, what I've just done with you, I need to sit down and do with this one. Um, and then, as I say, both of the um, envelopes want the die cuts adding, which I have, still haven't arrived yet, unfortunately. Um, they might have come in the packages today, but I, I doubt it. I don't think they've even been dispatched. So you'll see those on the on the flip through. That will be the next part, I think, because really, there's not too much more I can show you with making these. Um, but I hope you like sort of how it's coming together um I think the lace along there just looks lovely oh and I need to find a word don't I and yeah get some inking done just little jobs like that and just yeah finish off what's going to go in the pockets um but yeah I'm really loving them I'm really liking it I just think it looks so pretty um it's not what I had in my head that's the funny thing but I don't mind it, to be honest it's it's come out probably better than what I had in my head, despite 
the problems that we've had so or that I've had so I think we're we're looking good don't know if I want that tag in there it's a li getting a little bit bulky but equally because it's a paper bag it can take that that bit extra so we'll have to see um, but once it's actually all closed up and everything because we've got the half inch spine it sits really nicely look at that oh, it feels really good all right well I will leave it there I will stop uh, <laughs> I'll stop going on now and um, as I say the next time you see uh, see both of these they will be um, they will be ready to ready to go in my Etsy shop and it will be as a flip through um, unless there's anything big I can think of in the meantime but I really don't think there is I think we're I think we are just sort of down to the last last dregs now um, so yeah I will leave it there and I'll say goodbye and I will catch you on the flip through bye bye for now <laughs>